Saturday 1st of Feb, uh, 11.45 and we're at Shawnee Ford watching Conductor Galloping. Uh, it spans for the 101 to about 104. Conditions are awful. Shawnee Ford is a small village between Bacup and Tomadon on the A681. This is one of the most exposed sections of the line at an altitude of about 380 metres. Severe conductor deflection is occurring on all three phases of both circuits of the line. One interesting feature is the clearly visible snake-like oscillation of the insulator strings. What is it now? 5 past 12, uh, 4ZP 106, 106 extension tower which is rattling itself to bits. Um, we've had to, st well we're trying to stop the traffic going through, they're worried about it coming over, there's a number of loose bracings flapping about on it. Uh, you can also see span 106, 107 and 108 in the distance. Yeah, well it's moving all down that section back to uh, 106, and then from 106 it's moving right up to 78. Yeah. Yeah. What about, um, where's the conductor come off, what span? Off what tower? That off 28. Off 128, which we're now filming. Uh, which phase? It's bottom phase. Bottom phase. Green orange. Green orange, which is the Rochdale Bradford West circuit. The insulators are parting on, and there are a couple yeah. come with There's it. There's two on the floor and one still hanging on. But the it's conductor. still, it's off the deck, isn't it? It's still off just the deck, made yeah. a big catenary now. Well, the uh, conductor's still galloping very bad on the top there, aren't they? Yeah, they're galloping. So they must be going up about 30 feet or so over. Yeah, I've just been up at uh, 145 and... Uh... It is now 1500 hours on the 1st of February and we have returned to tower 4 zb 106. There is growing concern about the tower's integrity and as a result we have now instructed the police to close the road. Let us now highlight some of the specific problems with the steelwork which could endanger the tower. Here we see that all the retaining bolts which secure the diamond section to the horizontal on the tower body have sheared, the bolt holes being clearly visible. The gallop of the quad bundle is accompanied by no twisting of the bundle itself. This suggests that a possible remedy is to use a device that actually twists the bundle or the subconductors. A theoretical analysis indicates that such a remedy modulates the aerodynamic lift and creates positive damping of the motion.